If you're tired of the same old news... What more do you want? I want the truth. You're hearing it. Strap yourselves in, folks. Never fear. What's the dealio? Part of life is learning to let things go. We've got news moms can use. What was that name again? I missed that. News moms can use. Alrighty, thank you, Chris. We are going to have to race through these. Maybe we have to bump one or two to the next segment, shall? But let's start with a plane crash that has a happy ending. And by the way, we bring you mo- news moms can use because most of the rest of the media does not concentrate on news moms can use. They give you awful horror stories of murder and mayhem, and then they want to sell you laundry detergent in between in the commercials. So we're giving you stuff that is good for moms. It is a plane crash with a happy ending. A family from Richardson, Texas, proved that this week by being on the receiving end of an amazing rescue. The Atkins family was pulled to safety by bystanders after their plane crashed into the ocean off the coast of a small Caribbean island near Honduras. They said they lost an engine and their plane flipped over. And Andy Atkins, who was the husband in this case, was helped to the surface by the plane's pilot. But his family, including his wife Jenny and their four-year-old son Logan, were still missing underwater. That's when strangers in a nearby boat jumped in to help rescue the others. And there was a doctor nearby. I mean, all kinds of wonderful things to help these people out. And Mr. Atkins says it reaffirms your faith in people and humanity. And uh, if you want to look at this plane crash, you can go to Google and just Google Atkins plane crash. And it's am- they've got so the video of it. there have been a lot of people nearby. Yeah, videotaping it, videotaping the rescue. And it's really, wow. it's, it's actually just beautiful because it, it all came together and his family was saved. So that's awesome. Okay, I am not sure this is something I would want my husband to do while I gave birth. With the steering wheel in one hand and a video camera in the other, Dad Zachary Russell kept driving as his wife Jennifer gave birth. By the way, he was also filming. The couple was racing down Highway 287 in Texas toward a birthing center when Jennifer went into labor. By the time my water broke, she says, I pushed once and she was out. The second time Mom told KII-TV, and in case you just have to see it, which I didn't really want to see. I couldn't even click on the little arrow sign that says you can play because I just thought, no, I don't really want to see that. They posted the video on the internet for all to see. Ah, I don't think I'll even give you the link for that one. But hey, does he qualify for, uh, you know, distracted driving? I, he... I would think so. That's got to be worse than texting. I would think so. <laughs> I can't I've been it. on that highway too. They give it t- out tickets a lot. Do they? They but do. He's racing so he down would. there with a video <laughs> camera and a steering wheel. I mean, that just blows. And his wife's giving birth, mind you. Wow. All right. One more quick story. I guess it is tough to be an aging star if you're a woman, that is. I do not see George Clooney suffering from looking older these days. I tell you the story because I love to highlight what Hollywood and celebrity does to people. It may be viewed as a fabulous life, but it is not. Reports this week on two female celebrities that were a really big deal when I was a young adult. Demi Moore and Heather Locklear, both once very famous, beautiful, and successful actresses, and both also hospitalized this month for what sources say are substance abuse-related problems. In Demi Moore's case, the substance abuse was not confirmed as her reps say she was simply needing to help fight fatigue. Notably, both stars have just gone through separations from their spouses and are simultaneously facing the curse of aging in Hollywood. Moore is 49 and Locklear is 50. You know, when I saw that, I thought, uh, One minute. Hollywood just eats you up and spits you out. Yeah, spits you you out. 